Let's get salty! Everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video and the unthinkable, like a really surprising development has happened in the Hearthstone scene where a card in Zilliax Deluxe 3000, its virus module recently nerfed and now it's kind of breaking the game. This nerf has ended up being pretty much a buff across the board and we're gonna take a look exactly at why, how it's affecting the meta and also just other examples in Hearthstone history where a card got nerfed but ended up getting buffed as a result. And if you enjoy the content on the channel, if you like, I've earned your subscription, please hit that sub button down below. Give the video a like, it helps us out a lot. Just we're on the road to 83,000 subscribers. So it wasn't very long ago, we got these patch notes. What was that on April 25th, like a month ago, the Reno rework and Basically, the virus module was nerfed. I did get a buff in health. It went from a 1-3 to a 1-4, but it lost stealth, which was a big deal because stealth coupled with a module that would double the minion's attack every turn or the uh, start of every turn, Basically, Rogue would play this, you couldn't kill it, and then they would murder you. It was a really frustrating interaction. People didn't like it. It wasn't a huge power outlier, but it felt bad and they were like nerfing like AOEs and other options this uh, patch. So it's like, okay, we'll just nip this in the bud and we're gonna make it not have stealth. You know, what could go wrong? Well, it turns out it has been a very large deal. Prior to this patch, the usual thing for like Control Warrior, for example, was to play Zilliax and play the one with these two modules, right? You got the twin module where you summon a copy of this. It's really good with your brand. You get an extra copy, perfect module. It's got Divine Shield, Taunt, Lifesteal, and Rush, and even have extra synergies with Inventor Boom. You'd think you wouldn't change that now, right? Well, it's been recently discovered and it's all over the ladder now that that's not the optimal Zilliax build to go with if you're playing a slower strategy. Reno Warrior has now switched to using the virus module and using perfect module. So you still get the divine shield, the taunt, the lifesteal rush, but now you also get elusive, poisonous, and reborn. And the reason this didn't really see a ton of play before was the stealth kind of negated a large impact of that because yeah, it's got stealth. You play it on an empty board, y'all, you don't get taunt, right? The stealth really negates a lot of the taunt aspect and you kind of want your opponent to have to deal with this giant, unkillable, lifesteal, divine shield, poisonous minion. It's got how many keywords? It's, it's pretty darn good. And then when you bring it back with Inventor Boom, it comes back with that taunt. It's like this giant, unkillable thing. You gotta kill it twice. You can't target it. It comes back with Reborn, so you bring it back again with Inventor Boom. And it's already called the Unkilliliax or Unkillaziliax or whatever. You really struggle to murder it. And it's not just Warrior utilizing it. Reno Priest has become a lot more prominent and they also run if you check out our gameplay video yesterday yes i did play priest a mirror and it was oh my god what a game if you haven't seen that one yet i really recommend it my opponent played double raza yes the wild and standard raza it, it was ridiculous it was a crazy game regardless uh reno priest also running virus module perfect module to create this like unkillable thing and you could play multiple of them in Reno Priest with like your creation protocols. I lo You could use the location and steal it from your opponent. Pretty crazy and it's really been popping off and it's just one of those rare instances where a card that I've done see anybody predict to all of a sudden basically be buffed from this that yeah it's a big deal and it's such a big deal that i'm seeing like mining roguelists now hard running yog saron which they weren't as an answer to try and steal it as this is one of the only ways neutral options to deal with the card other than poofing it with reno right is to steal it with yog saron so the meta is already evolving around it i'm not saying it's a bad thing but it's pretty crazy to see like what looked like a strength nerf it didn't gain a health but losing that keyword ended up being a pretty large deal and yeah it got me thinking what are some other examples of cards getting nerfed that ended up kind of being a buff one example that happened was twin slice originally with zero mana if your hero plus one attack then you would add a second slice to your hand and uh it was the same thing they nerfed it to one mana but they also buffed the attack to two attack and this card was still like super insane and it actually put odd demon hunter over the top 
in Wild. I put out a video ages ago where before there was a lot of botting and all that stuff, I went like 49 and 0 on a brand new account with Odd Demon Hunter and ended up getting to like rank two or top 10 legend on like a free to play speed run way back in the day. Again, before like the apprentice track and uh, the ranked reworks, it was pretty crazy for that. And yet Twin Slice, it was a nerf because the way it worked with like uh, Alturus was just insane at zero. But still, it basically felt like a buff to a lot of stuff. It gave additional reach and saw like play till the day it rotated out of standard. That was a pretty crazy example. Another one is wild exclusive, but Blade Fang went from a 3-3 three, three, like it's at now. It got buffed to a 3-4 and obviously was just better. Then it got nerfed to a four mana, either three, four or four, four. And it buffed the crap out of even Death Knight in wild where it was a pretty popular deck of the blade thing at four really helped it out and uh, made it quite the threat not a great example but just one i thought i'd throw out there they're not all wild centric so let's get to the ones that are a little bit more uh general first day of school probably the most infamous example it was zero mana add two random one cost minions to your hand ridiculous card just zero mana get two one drops like you always curve perfectly with that in your other it's really good and it was too good so they ended up nerfing it but they made it one one mana, add three random one cost minions to your hand, and turns out that was kind of better or just as good, and they ended up nerfing it like weeks after. It was one of the quickest times a card had been nerfed multiple times. I think like Flesh Giant beats that out, where that got nerfed like two weeks from nine to ten, or another silly one. Uh, but yeah, first day of school, giving three one cost minions was barely a nerf, arguably a buff, and just one of those that uh, I think I made a really toxic tweet of like this was obviously the balance team's first day at school of nerfing cards i don't know if i'll find it that was pretty damn toxic i have to say another one you could argue is dark glare it was nerfed for wild originally it, this it was the same thing three minutes three four but you refresh for two mana crystals they ended up getting nerfed to two mana, if that makes any sense, but it refreshed one mana crystal instead of the two. And it ended up being so freaking good that they had to nerf it to three mana anyways. I argue for sure that the three mana one that like gained two crystals would still be more broken. Imagine this card today giving you two mana crystals instead of one, it would just be like, Ah, it's already broken as it is in standard or wild right now. But it was one of those that like, again, you you have the mana sheet, but then you have the mana on the card and it created all these other issues that, yeah, it led to breaking standard and wild to the point where they nerfed it to three. It was still pretty good and it's still really good now, but wasn't quite the same. It went through some stuff, all right? And lastly, I'll just leave off on something that's kind of related, but not really a, a buff that ended up being a nerf for a card. I just as an example of just weirdness that could happen to Hearthstone. There's not a ton of examples of it, so we'll just throw it in here. k 9 tron pretty recently when they added dual class, like dual tribes to uh, minions, this was originally just a mech, and then they added the beast tag, and it really messed with big beast hunter, which just wanted to cheat out beasts that were rather large and before there's just a really good early game card you could play and it was effectively a nerf when it was supposed to be a buff and no dust or anything was given for it and i remember some hunter players being a little bit salty about it so yeah just a couple of weird examples of cards that get changed and it ends up not being really what the intention was and let me know in the comments down below other uh buffs nerfs that you can think of that kind of fall under the criteria and let me know what you think about the new unkillable axe or whatever they're calling it the unkillable zilliax and the way it's kind of shaping the meta and that zilliax card is just a card that could do feels like literally everything anyways if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe have a great day and stay salty my friends